Cooper Army crosses the line. It is not enough. 11th position for Cooper Army. Hands the globe to Austria's Connie Hooter. It's the 39th and last race of the season on the Audi FIS Ski World Cup. It's a shootout for the downhill crystal globe between four skiers. They're all chasing Lara Goot Barami. The early pace in this eighth and final downhill of the tour is set by the Austrian racer, Christina Arger. But we soon get into the business end of racing and the chase for the globe. Connie Hooter comes into this last downhill of the season lying fourth in the standings. The game plan is clear for the Austrian racer. She has to take her first win in downhill this season to put herself in with the chance of beating Goot Barami for the downhill globe. And Connie Hooter raises her game brilliantly. Technically skillful, strong and powerful in the closeout, Hooter takes the lead with Goot Barami still to ski. The tour leader, Goot Barami, needs to finish in the top flight to secure enough points to stay ahead of Connie Hooter. But like in the giant slalom and the Super G last weekend and yesterday, Goot Barami looks just a little nervous in her challenge for the last downhill, dropping into 11th position, handing Connie Hooter top spot by four points in the tour standings. Cooper Army has been beaten by Connie Hooter, first Austrian to win the women's downhill globe since 2019. Then there are a few moments of real disbelief because Ilka Stuhetz, the Slovenian, part of a team that has won no podiums all season long, finds top gear and claims second position pushing Goot Barami down, but Connie Hooter still leads. Hooter takes the race ahead of Stuhetz and Delago. It's a brilliant closeout for Connie Hooter. The 100 point score help her secure the downhill title for 2024. She's ahead of Goot Barami and the injured Sofia Goggia taking third. Moments of joy and elation for Connie Hooter claiming the downhill crystal globe, the first of her career. Goot Barami had already secured the big globe before the start of the race, ahead of Brinoni and Schifrin, delighted to receive her award from FIS president Johan Eliash. With the men's downhill tomorrow live on FIS TV to close the Audi FIS Ski World Cup for 2024.